2023 was a fantastic year in the theme park world, but that's history now, so it's time to look only forward and see what's coming around the world in the amusement park industry. Just like any other year, 2024 looks to have tons of exciting new additions around the world. However, it does look a little bit quieter this year, especially from giants like Universal, who have so much coming out in 2025 thanks to Epic Universe and Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift. This list is based on what we know about each ride, where some attractions might rank a little low for now due to our lack of knowledge of the attraction. I would not be surprised if many attractions end up being surprise sleeper hits when 2024 is all said and done. So, let's look over the top 10 most exciting rides come to theme amusement parks around the world. Before we dive into the list, let's go over a few honorable mentions. Starting off down at SeaWorld San Antonio is an attraction that was supposed to open in 2023, but was pushed back due to technical issues, Catapult Falls. This will be the world's first launched log flume and hosting the world's steepest drop on a log flume at 53 degrees. This could honestly be a sleeper hit thanks to the launch and extremely steep drop. However, it misses the list due to, in my opinion, almost all the best water rides in the world are heavily themed. And I have no idea if the launch will be more thrilling or more of a gimmick. We will just have to wait and see whenever this ride ends up opening sometime in 2024. Six Flags Great Adventure is celebrating their 50th anniversary, and to celebrate, they are bringing the first new generation thrill coaster from Vacoma to the United States, the Flash Vertical Velocity. This looks to be a pretty interesting take on the overused and outdated boomerang model, and honestly, could also be a sleeper hit of the year. I am more excited to the fact that this will hopefully start the wave of new generation roller coasters from Vacoma starting to come to the United States. Finally, we have Fire in the Hole at Silver Dollar City. Just like all the honorable mentions, I feel like this could be amazing and something I am really underestimating. But this 2.0 RMC remodel of this classic attraction does have a lot of mystery behind it. It should be very well themed, and the roller coaster being used as a ride vehicle to get from scene to scene is really interesting. Regardless, this looks to be an amazing upgrade to this beloved attraction. Starting off our official countdown at number 10 is Iron Menace at Dorney Park. This B&M dive coaster will be Dorney Park's first coaster in almost 20 years, since Hydra opened in 2005. For such a long wait, they are getting a pretty solid looking coaster with this B&M mini dive. Standing at 160 feet tall and hitting 64 miles an hour. While lacking in height like many dive coasters out there, the 95 degree drop should add a little extra pop on that first drop to really make up for it. The rest of the layout looks pretty solid, but a little on the shorter side. Regardless, B&M dive coasters are almost always a great hit with the general public, and Dorney should have a solid ride in 2024. Number 9 is another B&M, but a little bit more unique than a dive coaster, Penguin Trek at SeaWorld Orlando. Granted, this one is ranked a little high on the list thanks to the theming involved, but let's be real, who doesn't want a roller coaster that runs through a penguin exhibit? It also might be because penguins are my favorite animal. That's beside the point, though. Penguin Trek is filling in the gap of a true family coaster at the coaster capital of Orlando, with a high requirement of only 42 inches. With two launches and 3,000 feet of track, Penguin Trek should be a great addition to an already amazing area of the park. Number 8 is a roller coaster we really don't know a ton about, even though it was announced three years ago. Hot Wheels Twin Mills Racer at the brand new Mattel Adventure Park. This will be the second chance Hyper GTX after Lightning Run. And based on the reputation of that amazing ride, this should be an excellent addition. It does look like this will have inversions and a launch, but overall the layout of the interior and the attraction is a mystery. Regardless of the final layout, Twin Mills Racer probably has the best looking coaster trains of all time. For one park that keeps getting delayed, we head to Austin, Texas for Palindrome at Coda Land. Palindrome is the first of two headlining roller coasters at this brand new park. This Gersalau Infinity shuttle coaster that goes over an active highway is one of the most visually striking roller coasters on this list and easily has the most unique layout. Starting with a vertical lift and near vertical twisted drop, you stall over the highway, head through a few more inversions before hitting this bizarre but fun looking spike. Then letting gravity take over and you do the course in reverse. To allow the capacity to not be a nightmare, Gerslauer put in an ingenious turntable to keep the train cycling. Palindrome looks to be a unique and fun addition to this brand new park. Number 6 is the only non-roller coaster on this list, with Disneyland and Magic Kingdom's conversion of Splash Mountain into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Like many of the attractions on this list that have indoor sections, we don't know a ton about the interior of this attraction. We do know that the layout of Splash Mountain will not be changed, which personally is perfect as there's no need to physically change the layout. As for the theming inside the mountain, outside of some concept art and a few small videos of the interior, not much is known about how the theming will look like. I do think Tiana's has a lot of potential with Disney's projection mapping, especially if they want to utilize Dr. Facilier and friends on the other side. With the project slated to be completed in late 2024, we are all eagerly waiting to see if this new version of Splash Mountain is worth the retheme. Starting off the top 5 is a roller coaster that maybe shouldn't 100% be on this list because it's a retracking. It's one of my top bucket list coasters and I want to talk about it. 
Nemesis at Alton Towers. This classic B&M has of course been around since 1994, and after all that time, the track has reached the end of its service life. Instead of scrapping this legendary ride, Alton Towers decided to retrack almost the entire layout and bring in this incredible looking paint job. Thanks to the height restrictions Alton Towers has, Nemesis has arguably the most creative layout of any roller coaster, where a lot of the coaster utilizes trenches that were blasted to allow the track to dive down. Of course, not much will change with this retracking, with some potential theming changes, but I do hope for one day when I can make it out to this amazing park and get on this legendary B&M invert. For number 4, we head back to Codaland for their other major addition coming to headline the park, Circuit Breaker. As I mentioned with The Flash hopefully bringing more next-gen Vacomas to the United States, I am confident that this next-generation tilt coaster will. With only one of these existing in the world in Taiwan, it's hard to say how well this rides, especially since that is around 20 years old and Vacoma is such a different company now. The layout looks fantastic with its fast pacing and quick turns along with some moments of ejector airtime. Add in a stall and this should be a fantastic ride. However, the biggest question I have is how will that tilt effect feel? Is it going to be kind of gimmicky or is it truly going to strike fear even as the most hardened enthusiast? I personally would bet on the latter, as this looks to be a more terrifying answer to B&M's dive coaster. I would really love to be able to dive into the engineering of the fail safes on how this tilt works, because this honestly looks like it could malfunction at any moment. Of course it won't, but that makes for the best kind of coaster design if you ask me. Number 3 is the one attraction on this list I have definite plans to ride this year and a project I've been looking forward to ever since the original shutdown. Top Thrill 2 at Cedar Point. The original Top Thrill Dragster, while a one-trick pony, is still one of my all-time favorite roller coasters thanks to the insane speed, massive height, and the insanely strong acceleration at launch. Which is the biggest question we all have with this new triple launch coaster. Will the lack of a punchy launch make this coaster inferior? The launch for sure will be missed, but not so fast on if Top Thrill 2 will be a downgrade. I personally think while the launch seems to be weak, the triple launch will make this a great ride. Starting off with a launch that gets you partially up the top hat, you do get that rollback everyone wanted, although nowhere near as tall as the original rollbacks. Where this roller coaster should really shine is that 101 mile an hour backwards launch of the new 420 foot tall spike. After riding to Tatis last year, that 167 foot spike was pretty incredible. Now double that insane feeling and you now have Top Thrill 2 spike. It will still be incredible. Plus, where can you go other than Cedar Point and you go to a park and get three 300 foot plus tall drops. Then all is pretty much the same as you accelerate to 120 miles an hour and go up and over that massive top hat. I am eagerly waiting to see how Top Thrill 2 would stand up against its problematic predecessor. I don't know about you, but I am ready to go on May 4th of this year. Number 2 brings us to the amazing looking Europa Park for the first new roller coaster there in 12 years, Voltron. As Europa Park is the test bed for mock rides, Voltron is their first striker coaster and this looks incredible. Voltron will be the centerpiece of the new Croatia section of the park and it will be themed after Nikola Tesla. Honestly this layout looks immaculate. Starting off with a launch vertical hill that pulls back on itself into a stall for the first of its 7 inversions. Filled with pops of airtime and multiple launches, as I mentioned before, this layout looks incredible. However, it's what happens in the middle of the layout that most impresses me. You come to a stop and get to this massive turntable, which then swing launches you to finish the rest of the layout. Combined with the unique and amazing theming along with the incredible layout, Voltron makes Europa Park an even higher ranked bucket list park for myself that I absolutely will not miss the next time I head back to Germany. For number one, it should be no surprise, it's the long-awaited Hyperia at Thorpe Park. While on the shorter side, Hyperia looks to be an incredible mock hypercoaster, starting off with what might be one of the best first drops in the world. To me, twisting in on yourself 230 feet in the air looks to be out of this world incredible. With an amazing looking airtime hill immediately afterward, this layout once again while looking short looks to be immaculate. After hitting an outer break turn that twists into an inversion, this massive stall looks to give RMC stalls a run for their money. Thorpe Park has never been too high on my bucket list of parks since. While it has some great looking roller coasters, it seems to be missing that S tier roller coaster. Hyperia looks to fix that, as it should be in discussion of one of the best roller coasters in Europe. I for sure cannot wait for whenever I make my trip to the UK to get on this incredible looking mock hyper. While 2024 looks to be a quieter year for attractions around the world, especially in the United States, this year does look to have a lot of exciting things going for it. I currently have plans to ride only one of these new for 2024 coasters this year, but I do have a lot of incredible rides that are just not brand new that I'll be crossing off this year. 
Be sure to check out the end of my 2023 in review video to see what amazing rides I'm going to be going on in 2024. With that being said, 2024 should be an amazing year for the theme park industry and one could say the calm before the storm that is 2025, which may be shaping up to be one of the best years in a long time. That's going to be a wrap on this look forward to 2024. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more content just like this.